Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and thanks for dropping by my shack for a ham shack chat. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the FT-991A clarifier. Now, there seems to be some confusion about this function, but I think we could put most of that right back on Yesu. Uh, just about every other man manufacturer calls this setting receive incremental tuning or transmit incremental tuning or RIT and XIT. At least pretty much every Kenwood radio that I've ever owned has labeled them as such. Now in a moment I'm going to take you to the radio and go through the three settings and demonstrate how they actually work. I'll also be giving you a brief description on when the use of each of these settings would be appropriate. When demonstrating the transmit, the rig will be set to 5 watts output and I'll be running that into a dummy load. Right there. there you see that. It's just a small one. Uh, now I recommend that every ham have a dummy load in their shack for testing like this. It really makes for guilt-free experimenting with functions on your rig. The dummy load I'm using is a diamond antenna DL30A, which is rated from DC to 500 megahertz, uh, 50 ohms with an average output power of 15 watts. Uh, it will take a momentary, like less than a second of 50 watts. And on five watts, it'll run all day. I've got an Amazon link down in the video description, and you can pick this one up for yourself. If you use the link in the video description, I get a small commission from Amazon. It's really tiny, just like maybe one or two percent of the total cost. Uh, it doesn't change your cost for the dummy load at all. I've also got a couple links to other dummy loads from Diamond Antennas in case you feel you need something with a little bit more gusto. Again, using these links will not add to your cost at all, but it does help me offset the uh, cost of making these videos. Now, let's go take a look at the FT-991A's clarifier settings. The first thing that we're going to do is go to our menu and we want to be on menu item 40, which is the clarifier mode select. Currently, the default is set to RX and I'm going to show you the other ones. And you can also set it to TX and TRX. But for this demo, for this first demo, we want to have it set to RX. So we're going to enter that and go back. Now, let me find a CW signal. So here's a CW signal. Finally found one. We're going to turn the clarifier on by pressing the clear button and you'll see the RX comes up. Now using the uh, Clair VFO uh, adjustment and waiting for, let's find another CW frequency. I see one right there. Okay, so I'm going to use the Clair uh, knob So you see, I am adjusting it down. Now, to zero out the clarifier setting, press and hold the clear button. You see it takes it back down to zero. Because I don't want to transmit, even though I'm only set on five watts, I wanted to give this demo, and uh, I want to start by adjusting this to an even number, so we'll be at 14, 19, and even. I'm going to change my, I'm gonna, engage my Claire. There we go. You see the green RX is there and I'm going to adjust this. You can see the adjustment happening up here at the same time. So usually you're not going to get this far. However, you can go as far as 9,999 Hertz or 9.995 uh, kilohertz. I'm going to key my radio and keep an eye on what happens here when I key my radio. So 
So you can see that my transmit is going back to where it was. And that's how the received clarifier works. Again, reset it by going, holding it, pressing and holding, and turn it off by just pressing it. The green RX goes away. Uh, let's go to the menu. Select the RX, change it to TX. Uh, whereas the RX only change the uh, receive frequency, the TX only changes the transmit frequency. We'll enter that and get out of here. A lot of times when you're working DX, the other station on the other end, the DX station, will uh, go to split operations. That's where he is transmitting on one frequency and listening on another. Uh, and by the way, all of these are applicable to all modes. So it doesn't matter what mode you are, the clarifier is going to work the same. I simply used uh, CW because it gives the best over-the-air tone and is easiest to hear. Uh, but, enough said, uh, the other station's working split. And usually he'll be up maybe five, uh, sometimes two uh, uh, kilohertz. So we can go all the way up to 9.995 kilohertz or 9,995 hertz. Uh, we're not going to go that high this time. Uh, but say somebody's working two up. Okay, so uh, you can tune this up to 2,000. And you, you don't want to go right on. If he says, I'm two up, then that just tells you that's a... Uh, a range that you start at. So let's go 2140 Hertz. That way your signal will be spread out from all the other stations that are trying to work the DX and he's going to be listening on a single frequency. So in this case he would be listening on 7.045 and starting to scan at 2000 Hertz and then tweaking, you know, moving up until he hears the signal that he can work then he'll work them. That's just a quick DX operating. You can work split if you want to, or if you just want to do a quick thing, use your TX clarifier, set it up here, and watch what happens. See, I am transmitting on 4714, which is 7.045 plus 2140. Uh, so that's a, a quick way to do split. So we go back to our menu, we're on menu item 40, clarifier mode select, currently in the TX selection. So we're going to select that, use our multi knob here, and go to TRX, we're going to enter that and back out. We're now in the TRX. And when I engage the clarifier, you'll see receive and t transmit are indicated, green and red. We're going to use our uh, clarifier mode and you'll see that I am transmitting and receiving on the same frequency so when I hit the receive it doesn't change anything. So, uh, of course, uh, let me zero on the clarifier and you'll see that I could do the exact same thing by spinning my spinning my main tuning knob, it uh, just gives you another way to quickly uh, tw tweak uh, both both uh, your transmit and receive. Uh, these can be used for all modes. I've demonstrated in CW, uh, but it can be used in all modes. So, in summary, there are three settings for your clarifier. There's receive or RX, which will provide changes to your receive frequency only. And it's useful if you're working a frequency and then someone comes on who's a little bit off frequency and you want to tweak them in. Transmit or TX, uh, that changes your transmit frequency only and is useful if you're working another station and they're working split. Of course, you can always use split function of your rig, but this is a quick and dirty workaround to that. 
Finally, transmit and receive, or TXR, which will change both your transmit and receive frequencies at the same time. Now, personally, I don't see a lot of use for that one, as your main tuning knob will do the exact same thing, and it's a lot easier to get to. I hope that you've enjoyed this and now have a little bit more knowledge on how these functions on your rig work. Uh, don't forget to check out the dummy load uh, that I used in this presentation. And in case you need one, uh, I've also got the presentation pointer that I used in the demonstration down in the link in the description to that. Please take a moment and give me a like. <laughs> Please like me. Please share. What about sharing? This with your friends and Cape Patriots in the FT-991A multiverse. Please leave a comment. Questions? Comments? With any questions or experiences or perhaps a suggestion for another video. And finally, please consider subscribing. Sorry, you already subscribe. To this channel. 7-3, until the next Hey Y'all, I'm Tom, ND3N. And I am out.